Hi everyone, welcome to GoFries. In today's video, I'm going to talk about this news about folding at home being the distributed computing platform that is capable of help researching for a cure for COVID-19. Yes, you guys have heard about it. And if you rem remember, I talked about the folding at home thingy a couple of months back, link up above there. So, what this video I'm going to address is what I saw are the things that are not highlighted in the many videos. Yes, I saw people like Linus Tech Tips mentioning it in a video and they spent a whole bunch of the time talking about their rig and such. But there are key matters about this opportunity in folding at home to research for COVID-19 cure that is not highlighted. It's not just by them. In fact, most of the articles and videos I see has not highlighted the important things. Now, this means uh, there's a whole lot of uncertainty actually. So let me start by the most common question. I've seen in many groups how people are asking why is their machine not doing anything? It's not folding. Why does this happen? You see, in folding at home, it is a distributed computing project. Now the projects are handed to you by the server. It's assigned to you. So it's not like mining where your computer is always running. Distributed computing projects such as this is where the server will assign the project to your machine. Now, a couple of months back, before the craze of everyone wanting to jump into folding at home, I am a regular folder. I am a top contributor in Malaysia. So I can tell you from the experience that projects come in all the time. Okay, but this is not the case now because there's suddenly so many people contributing their computing power. So the system over at the server will decide for you who gets the assignment. So this is why your machine, even if you set it up properly, may not even be running the project. I have a few rigs running, okay? Just based on my rig, uh, my benchmark rig that I left it on for the past 24 hours, I only folded twice. And both the projects were completed in a matter of hours because I'm running a reasonable uh, GPU, which is the RX 5700 XT. So yes, 24 hours, two. So if you, your machine, if your machine does not start folding, you have to understand that this is the reason. It is assigned to you. So you might think that, wow, I'm contributing a lot to the project. Not necessarily. And guess what? Point number two. Does it mean you get an assignment? Means you're folding for uh, the research of COVID-19. The answer is, no, a big, huge no. Just because you run the machine and you, or even you saw the machine actually did folding, does it even mean you're doing for COVID-19? No, not at all. You see, the COVID-19 projects are from this number to this number. If your projects are within this number range, yes, you are doing a COVID-19 related project. If not, you are just doing the other projects that are available. I know that on the web interface, you get to choose which projects that you want or prefer. It's a matter of preference. That is just your preference. But in the event that when there's no units available, work units available, you'll be assigned the project for other diseases. So get this now. One, your machine will not be folding all the time. Two, even if it folds, that doesn't mean you're contributing to a COVID-19 research. And three, some, there's this thing about efficiency. I know some people say every bit counts. Well, I feel like the people who say every bit counts either does not care much about electricity or the environment, or perhaps they are under the assumption that as long as it falls, I am contributing to the COVID-19 research. Well, refer to points one and two. So, I am the 
I am one who has been folding for so long and I always advocate efficiency. Now, if you are going to run a machine that runs at 200 watts wall draw and and in their then their how say the PPD the points per day that's a that's a PPD is just to tell you the speed of the production. So if you are going to run it at high wattage to 300 watts maybe, but being a CPU folding and it does it does very little when it comes to this 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 um, project calculation then it's like contributing so little at the sacrifice of the environment so i highly recommend going with gpu folding Fair, fine with me if you want to use cpu folding but at least you must understand this efficiency part if you are i think if you're using something like ryzen thread ryzen thread rippers well, I think they are, they are pretty all right. Even the Ryzen 7s with more cores and threads, I think they are all right. But if you are having something really old, like say an i7 7700K or whatever those old processors or low-end processors, maybe you shouldn't be doing that. Just focus on GPU folding if you can. So these are the three points that I think that people should note before they... Um, they embark on this journey of folding for COVID-19 because even you spend your money to build a rig or whatever else to set up there's really literally no guarantee no guarantee that you'll be folding for COVID-19 like I mentioned my rig folded only twice within 24 hours but at least the projects were of COVID-19 research so and that's that and if you guys notice that even in my previous video where I highlighted folding at home, I say, will you join me? I have not mentioned group, not that I remember. Even that, you don't see a gold price group. If I ever mention any group, it will be my, this will be the group that I'm in, which is Team Malaysia. ID is 2999. And that's the group I'm in. I'm not changing regardless who you are. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'll be grateful for your invitation, but this is not a race. You see, I've seen many, I've seen videos and articles that take the opportunity to invite people to their team. I know, it, I, I, I guess for groups, I think it's all right because your group, you want to know which who in your group is uh, contributing and it's all for a good cause, but it's quite, I don't, in my opinion, it can be, it, it seems quite distasteful when you are not a regular folder and suddenly with this news you set up a team hey join our team let's fold i probably your intention was is to be to be something of fun but at the same time it feels like just taking the opportunity for publicity well that's up to you actually it's just my opinion you don't have to be offended and you don't have to agree with it all right so that's it for this video i hope this clears the air for if you want but just because you fall that doesn't mean you are contributing to the COVID-19 cause as what I mentioned one projects are assigned two assigned projects may not be part of the COVID-19 research and yeah that's pretty much it those, those are the two points efficiency part whatever that's not the, the it's just an additional thing I'm not it's not so much of the concern the two points that are the two points that I highlighted at the start and even until now, those are the key ones. Know that you will, your system will not be folding all the time because projects are assigned and assigned projects are not necessarily for the COVID-19 purpose. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, guys. If you want to join the folding at home um, project, just go ahead, download the software, follow the instructions. I, I don't think there's a need for a video for it because to set up straightforward run the exe file choose your username choose the team to join if any if you don't join any you will still be able to to participate and try to get yourself a passkey passkey can give you better bonus points and other details that's an faq i think i'm going to leave it in the description of what the passkey does it's not just for points okay all right that's it for this video thank you for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one bye bye